What's up guys, this is your boy Duver Guy, and today I have some really bad news today. I'm gonna get right in the car and tell you guys what the bad news is about. So what's up guys again? I am back in my car. I have some really bad news to reveal to you guys. And I don't think you guys are ready for the bad news. It's really bad. It's going to cost a lot of money to fix it. Lots of money. Lots and lots of money. But anyways, let me get straight into the video and let you guys know what's going on. So basically, if you watched my recent video that I uploaded, I took my car for a drive after putting the downpipes in and stuff like that. And took it on a straight run and just got on it. You know what I mean? But basically what happened was that... My car started misfiring, so I'm like, alright, if it's misfiring, it might be just the spark, the spark plugs or the coal packs or something like this. So, I switch, I did both of them. I switched the coal packs, I did, I changed the spark plugs, got them right, you know what I mean? Started my tuning process or whatever. And then in the process of doing that, my car check engine light came on, so I'm like, what the hell? You know, I was confused. I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on, all that stuff. Then, I officially realized that something is not right the car's not running good it's not idling good it sounds weird and everything like this so i asked my neighbor who's a mechanic matt he works for honda and he took the car apart to see what the problem was we didn't find no weird problems the car was still good so then i'm like all right i'm gonna just keep driving it then it's physically still good so i started driving it again and all of a sudden it left me on the side of the road so i Came back and told Matt that the car left me on the side of the road. He's like, something is not right. Let's see what it is. So we went back again, trying to check the spark plugs again. And guess what we found? We found a spark plug that's filled with oil. So that means my ring lens and my motor is done. I mean, the car is going to start and everything like that. Like, watch this. It's going to start. You're going to get a big check engine light. You see? And the idle process of the car is not the best. As you guys can hear, it doesn't sound good. So, yeah, definitely something that's wrong with the motor or whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but I'm definitely, my motor, I blew my motor. So, I'm going to show you guys what it is. I blew the motor and now I need a new whole engine, which is pricey and costly and I'm going crazy over this thing, man. This engine is done. So basically I need to get a whole new engine and take this whole thing apart and put a new engine in. But this old engine, I'm going to rebuild it. So this channel, so this channel is going to be like a build series now from now onwards. So as you guys see, the car has been sitting for almost two weeks now. I'm gonna get a new engine and I'm gonna swap out the engine and start the build series with this new engine. I'm gonna hit, try and hit 400 horsepower with the old engine. So bigger turbo, big everything, and just keep this one as it is. It's still not stock, so I'm definitely gonna do that. So uh, that's why I haven't been able to upload as much as I wanted to. And I thought maybe I'll tell you guys about it because I I just been sad and stressed about it you know what i mean because the car was definitely fun when it lasted and now it's like broken or whatever so definitely gonna end the video here and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends and we are gonna build the car and if you want to see the process of it make sure you subscribe to the channel and we're gonna enjoy the building series like i said i will catch you guys later peace